in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we have commenced the chapter. It is about syntax, which is the study of the structure of the sentence. That's how a sentence is structured. Listeners and audience, you know that two days before, we have started the theory and the syntax, which is known as generative grammar. The theory was introduced and developed by Noam Chomsky in 1950. The basic principle of the theory is that human being is born with innate capacity and there are a set of rules for uh, language in the brain of human being which are already programmed in the brain of human. So then a common human being is able to understand even the correct and an incorrect sentence based on his that knowledge, which is also called unconscious knowledge. Listeners and ideas, yesterday, if you remember, I told you that the generative grammar theory also explained and defines uh, some rules of other language or the grammar of other language. How generative grammar defines the grammar of a language? According to generative grammar, a grammar of a language must be capable to produce and generate the correct structure, the correct syntactic structure, the well-formed structure and will not generate the well the L-well structure or the L-form structure. L-form structure means the incorrect structure. So the grammar of a language will not generate the L-form structure. And then the next point I shared with you that was that according to generative grammar theory, the grammar of a language must be capable to have a finite set of rules and which will be able to generate different structures with the help of those finite rules. So with the help of finite rules, those uh, sentences, those structures, syntactic structures will be able to produce infinite sentences. And the third one, that was that there are sentences which are superficially, they are similar and identical and closely related to, to each other. However, they are also different from each other as well. So how they are superficially similar to each other and how they are different, this phenomena is also explained by generative grammar. Listeners and audience, today we further extend the topic and that is deep structure and surface structure. This is also further explained generative grammar theory. So, in this lecture, I will tell you that what is the main difference, what is the main difference between deep structure and surface structure. Listeners and audience, whenever we are talking about deep structure, deep structure uh, refers to our thoughts, our feelings, our concepts and our ideas about anything. It refers to our ideas and thoughts. On the other hand, whenever we are talking about surface structure, surface structure refers to the words and sentences which can be heard and which can be seen. Now, this is the main difference. And another interesting point about deep structure is that deep structure is 
what is in your mind deep structure means what you want to express and surface structure mean how you express those ideas those thoughts uh, and those feelings in your words and sentences let me provide an interesting example that you could know it better for example you went to a market in order to uh, buy the clothes so you bought a different variety of clothes for yourself for your children from for any uh, for any other people for your family members etc now you want to share those ideas or that practicality which you already for example bought the clothes now you want to share this with your friends so now you are just sharing surface idea in verse in sentences with your friends just in a single sentence or in two three sentences so when you change your ideas and your thoughts into sentences then they became surface structure let me provide another example for example if you say to someone i bought colorful clothes this is surface structure because it can be seen and it can be heard and listened to however when you say to someone that i bought colorful clothes other people the the participant or the listeners uh, those who are listening to you those who are present on the spot they will start thinking that when did he bought uh, buy the clothes how he buy uh, bought the clothes where he went to buy the clothes and what kind of colors they would be like uh, white uh, black etc so this thinking or these thoughts in the mind of those people that is actually called what deep structure but when they practically say those words then they become surface structure so hope that this topic is clear to you thank you